Hey sis, welcome back to my channel. I'm Unique and today I'm going to be sharing with you my at-home maintenance routine when I'm preparing for vacation. The prep work that goes into preparing for vacation can get a little bit pricey. If you know, you know, especially as a woman, you know, you got to get your hair done, you got to get your nails done, you got to get waxed. You don't have to. I want to do all the things. So I'm gonna show you the part that I personally take care of myself at home. Um, I already got my nails done. I did do my hair myself, so hair's already done. I've already showered, I've already shaven. <laughs> all of the parts that won't get waxed have been shaven. I've already washed my face and brushed my teeth. So step one in my maintenance routine when preparing for vacation is whitening my teeth. I have showed you this product before, maybe a year ago, maybe almost two years ago at this point. This is the whitening strips that I use. They are by Luminex and I get them off of Amazon, so I'll make sure that I link them down below for you all. I love using these whitening strips because it's super simple, it's all natural ingredients, and not only is it effective, but it doesn't cause any sensitivity on my teeth, which is what used to happen when I would use like the big box brands. <laughs> of whitening strips in the past. I haven't used them in recently, so I can't tell you, you know, if they've improved recently. Now with these strips, you do have to place them and leave them on for 30 minutes, so that is why I'm going to go ahead and do this first before moving on to the other steps in my maintenance routine. Some other things to note is that you wanna make sure that you brush your teeth maybe like an hour before, and then they recommend that you use these every day for seven days and then about one to two times a week um, just to maintain the whiteness, your smile. Hey Google, set timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. So while I let that set for 30 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my brows. So like I said, I've already washed my face, so my face is clean. So let's put these full locks out of the way so we can focus on our eyebrows and our skincare. To shape my eyebrows, I go in with your typical eyebrow razor that I pick up in this huge pack from Amazon, which I'll link below for you. You're gonna need an eyebrow tweezer, as well as a spoolie brush to keep those eyebrow hairs in the same direction and a really good mirror to see what you're doing. The first thing that I'm gonna do is go in and tweeze all of those hairs that are clearly outside of the shape that I want for my eyebrows. I'm cleaning up the overall area. I did have microblading done about five years ago, so I still have the shading, the general outline of the shape. So I'm following that as my guide. It'll help me keep my eyebrows pretty uniform without being too thin, because I do not like thin eyebrows. I like them to look manicured like this, not manicured this. We get in there, we get in there. Next, I'm going to go in with those eyebrow razors, and this is going to help me really define and clean up the brow. You want to hold your skin taut, and just like shaving your legs or your underarms, you don't want to do this on dry skin. I like to wet this area. Um, I might even add some MCT oil or some squalane to my eyebrows to help keep me from getting the cuts or the nicks on this area of my skin. Also using the spoolie as I go to just make sure that those hairs stay tame. They are pretty long right now, but I did not wanna actually trim them um, because like I said, I do like a fluffy or fuller brow. Not too full, not too fluffy, but keeping my brows kind of long helps me achieve that when I go to actually use brow gel and do my eyebrows. I'm also going to use the eyebrow razor to clean up the top of my brow. Now I'm going to go in and do like, basically I'm going to shave my face after this, but I don't use this particular razor to do so. So I'm just going to use it around the areas of my eyebrow to clean it up and get rid of all of that extra short hair. And then we get something like this.
now that the brows are completely finished i already feel so much cuter <laughs> i'm going to actually apply some mct oil on my face because it's time to shave this is a razor that i like to use on my face as well as the revlon one i'll link them down below i have a dedicated video on oil planing or derma planing at home because we really gotta get rid of this mustache girl that can't come with us on vacation okay but I prefer this razor to an eyebrow razor, which you've probably seen other people use on the internet. I can't use an eyebrow razor on my skin. Um, it just creates irritation and inflammation for me and that just negates the point, right? We are doing this to get rid of all this extra hair, to give our face that like smooth, even appearance. Um, this is not true dermaplaning, okay? True dermaplaning is if you go to a licensed medical spa, like an esthetician or even a dermatologist, they're putting a scalpel to your face, okay? And they're getting rid of layers of dead skin. That's true dermaplaning. What we're doing is just getting rid of all of the hair on our face. That's it. That's that okay why do we do this because it helps your makeup lay flawlessly it gives you the appearance of glow it's an exfoliating treatment sis that's what it is okay it leaves you glowing it helps the absorption of all of your skincare products and if you've ever done this and then beat your face down you know that beat is like none other so this is why I do this personally this is not a must, this is not a need, this is something that I prefer to do. Now if you notice, I did have a little bit of fungal acne breakout. Um, I was trying a new product girl and whatever. Anyway, if you're going to be doing a treatment like this and you have active acne or fungal acne like I do, you wanna be very careful not to actually run your blade across and open or disturb that active acne material or fungal because you can actually spread it to other areas of your face and cause it to be even worse so i am trying my very best not to run this blade over the top of especially those bigger ones that are inflamed and angry i am trying my best not to cut open and spread that fungus anywhere else it's not already I feel smooth I feel so smooth and now it's time to take off these whitening strips my timer did go off while I was washing my face so it had been exactly 30 minutes I just kind of squeeze that product off as I'm pulling the strip and then I'm going to go in with my toothbrush just to help get any of the gunk off I'm already feeling like a brand new bit <laughs> I've tackled my teeth, my brows, did my little oil planing or derma planing, basically shaved my face, okay? So that my makeup and everything is going to lay flawlessly while I'm on vacation. So because that is a pretty exfoliating treatment, I am not going to do anything harsh in the skincare department. I'm actually going to just put on a very hydrating, um, an ampoule, I think, is what I'm going to do. So, I do have a hyaluronic acid ampoule. That just means it's more of like a deeper hydrating serum. So, I'm going to put that on. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask. I really do enjoy this mask because it is not very exfoliating and it's very hydrating. I think the watermelon sleeping mask is perfect for this and I am tired so this is a really good like two steps and I'm done with my skincare routine for the night. I just poured a little bit of that mask in my hand and then I'm going to apply it in a pretty thin even layer as even as possible all over my face. Don't forget your neck, ladies. Don't forget your neck, okay? Back of the neck, too. So I have been using these EOS chapsticks, and I actually really like 
them. I'm sure it's the same formula as that they had in the cute little ball that's in the chapstick, but for some reason, I prefer these to that ball package. Maybe it's just because I'm used to it, but I do feel like they're very hydrating for the lips. And that is my maintenance that I do at home to prepare me for vacation. I hope you all enjoyed it. Definitely like this video if you did. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything else that you would add or anything that you personally do at home like lash extensions. I haven't like done a full like commitment to elastic lash extensions because I know me and I'm a fidgeter and I can see myself pulling them out and thus pulling all my natural eyelashes out <laughs> as well. I mean, cause with strip lashes, baby, I swear the second I hit the door, those strip lashes come off. So that's the only reason why I haven't tried lash extensions or committed to lash extensions. That's probably the only additional thing I can see myself not see myself because that's a lie that's the only additional thing I can see to add but let me know what you would add down below in the comment section don't forget to subscribe hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I drop a video just like this one and I will see you in my next video bye